This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Being dominant comes very naturally to the alpha male. And then there are the rest of us. The majority of us want to get through life unscathed, avoiding conflict and not making too much of a spectacle. What people find, however, is that they end up feeling used, taken advantage of, or never really getting what they want out of life. If you're tired of being the one always to give in, taking care of others or sacrificing your own needs in lieu of others, then you might be asking yourself the question, how to be a dominant male? Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the three ways to become a dominant male. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. Dominant male by itself doesn't make anyone a leader or someone to admire or emulate. Dominance at its best is a means to an end that does as much good as possible. It's not an end in itself, it's a tool. The person wielding it should try as much as possible not to be one. Since women want a more dominant man and some don't, it's important to know the signs of dominance and how they contribute to a man's overall character. The term male dominance evolved in the 20th century as a conceptual label to characterize the unequal power relations between men as a group and women as a group. This categorical approach to gender relations is part of a long history of thought regarding the political relations of the sexes beginning with the early Greeks. The intellectual history of the theory and practice of male dominance is summarized beginning with the misogyny of the early Greeks and ending with the anthropological debate regarding the universality of male dominance. Dissenting views are also discussed. Here are three simple ways to be dominant male. Dominance is not an innate quality for everyone. It's a feeling like you're at the head of the pack and that no one can challenge you. An inner confidence, the good news is that even if you're the meekest of souls, it is possible for you to find the dominant inner personality to make people stand up and take notice. At the very least, these behaviors can give you the strength to say no when you want, stand up for yourself, and not be taken advantage of for your kindness. 1. To be dominant, know yourself. If you wonder how to be dominant as a man, start by knowing yourself. The alpha male knows himself. He knows who he is. He has a system of values which serves as a foundation that allows him to move in the right direction. He doesn't deviate from a system of values. Instead, he takes action in order to be in tune with it. A dominant man does what he thinks is right for him and his tribe. Even when he seems to be the only one thinking what he thinks, he copes. Because he knows that the way he sees things is fair and just. This is what allows him to move forward while remaining a man of integrity, preserving his identity and his strength. The dominant man knows himself. He's aware of his strengths and his weaknesses. That's what allows him to act in the best way possible, regardless of the situation. 2. The dominant man controls his body language. The dominant man controls his movements. His body language is relaxed and serene. Just by observing the way he moves his body, you can sense that he's solid. He's calm, he's relaxed. A dominant male moves his body in a conscious and controlled way. The weak guy, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have any control over his movements. As you've probably noticed, beta males have a tendency to move in a stressed and nervous way. They often make jerky and uncontrolled movements. You can feel stress and tension in the way they move their bodies or stand. You can feel they're not at peace. You can feel they're not relaxed. Those jerky and uncontrolled movements are nervous reactions to external disturbances. It reflects the fact that they don't fully control the situation. The dominant male, on the other hand, consciously controls his movements. He has the situation in hand. He has control over his body. Posture Men tend to be more expansive in their posture and more open, taking up more space. This is an obvious cue of dominance. Women, on the other hand, tend to take up less space and be more constricted. For example, consider how men cross their legs while seated, while women will often hold their legs tightly together. Expansive positions are associated with power and dominance, and constricted positions with submissiveness. Eye gaze Staring directly into another's eyes is a sign of dominance. Not holding another's gaze shows submission. We've all seen dominance displays of two people trying to stare each other down until one breaks the gaze and backs down showing submission. Especially when angry, a man is more likely to look another in the eyes as a dominance display. Women, on the other hand, tend to observe others carefully but are more likely to look away when another looks at them, tending not to engage in mutual gaze. 3. The dominant man speaks with a calm and relaxed voice. 
Vocal pitch, determined by the main frequencies in the voice, is about half as high in men as in women. This difference has traditionally been explained as a product of sexual selection, in which women favored men with lower-pitched voices. One reason women might prefer men who speak in low voices is that vocal pitch is partly related to physical size. Taller men tend to have lower voices because they have longer vocal tracts and vocal folds, the main determinants of pitch. Vocal anatomy is also thought to signal a man's level of testosterone, a hormone linked to physical aggressiveness and prowess. The dominant man controls his voice. His voice is fluid. It takes time to deliver his words. He speaks in a relaxed and calm way, without tension in his voice. A dominant male's voice is deep. It comes from his belly. The weak guy, on the other hand, speaks with a stressed and jerky voice. He struggles to control his flow and his pitch. He speaks with a weak voice that lacks depth. And he talks too fast for fear of being interrupted and not being able to deliver his message. As a result, his words awkwardly overlap. And since he's stressed, you can feel tension in his voice. You can feel he's panicking. It reinforces his counterpart's sense that he's a weak guy. As you have understood, this is not the case with a dominant man who speaks with a calm, slow, tension-free voice. Why Women Prefer Dating Dominant Men It probably won't surprise you to hear that many women find dominant men to be sexy. Women often find men who take charge of appealing and they might even seek out men with dominant personality types. This doesn't mean that women don't like more submissive men. But some women find the confidence in authoritative men to be a sexy quality. Why do some women tend to prefer dating authoritative men though? Is there one big reason that makes the idea of dating a man with a dominant streak so appealing? Authoritative men are seen as desirable by many women and determining why might help you make many things clear in your head. There are many different reasons to consider and might not have thought of these three simple ways before. Immaterial of your size or stature, the fact is you can become an alpha male. Three of these simple tips are some of the most common dominant male personality traits and other characteristics. Being a dominant is important not just to gain the attention of the fair sex but do attain a more dominant stance in society. It certainly doesn't mean that you should impose yourself on others or look down upon others. Sure, as a guy, you would want to have that stature, right? If you do, how will these simple yet effective steps work for you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anchorly and Anchorly tokens, check out the links in the description.